Hello our fans, welcome back to Flowworks. Today we're going to be doing a 28 by 8 inch canvas. We're going to do a black canvas today, you'll be able to see it from the camera above me. We are going to be doing a pour, acrylic pour, with some silver, some gold, metallic gold. We've also got some, nearly dropped that then, nearly got some, nearly got some, we've got some light blue. Yeah, we're going to basically do a pour, see how it turns out, hopefully, fingers crossed. It's going to be amazing. Join me as we do the pod. Here we go. Are you ready? It's like a black hole. Let's create something to fill this black hole. So we've got our black. This is pre-mixed. What I've got in mind is we're going to start with some goldy bronze colour. Bosch. Whack that there. Then we're going to go into some silver. Bosch. Whack that there. Then I'm thinking some of this ocean blue, Bosch next, next to the silver, and then followed by a trail of this blue, and then we're gonna push it all this way, and push a little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way, and then bang, Bob's your uncle, we'll have a little look what's going on here, hopefully we'll have a masterpiece. Hang on a sec, we've got a little bit of a text from the wife, what's she up to? She is, oh, she sent me a picture. Oh, look at that. She sent me a picture of somebody in Hobbycraft doing what we do here. Enough of that. Let's move that phone because I think things are about to get a whole lot messy. Right, that's nice and runny. That's nice and runny. Oh, I just get a bit of a nerve on. A little bit of a nerve on when we're about to pour. So, yeah, let's go for this. Straight down there. Whoosh, bosh. Bush up there, and then we're gonna go straight down the middle. Bosh, straight up there. Bosh, straight down there. Bosh. I'm just looking to cover all of this. I still think I do my paints too thick. Comment down below if you know how to do this stuff. Right, hair dryer on. Okay, that's pretty good. So, what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna get rid of the air bubbles. Again, I am nervous, so we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna go this way. Let's go. Start there. No, start there. Wash. There's my gold in. I then said silver. About halfway in. About there. Silver looks a bit white, but don't worry about that for the minute. And then we're going to go for this. This, out of all the colours in the world, this is my favourite. Fill in the black just next to the colour. Da 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 dee dee. Right, let's whack this over the colour. just coming in smashing through those blues so okay so what's going to happen is when this this looks white for the minute but I can guarantee there's silver in there there's uh, a silver dust in there as well so that's that's going to come alive once this is dried it's like a feather a feather of an explosion i think we're going to call this one dark peacock a little tip when you're working with black i think you got to be careful not to put the black into the paint too much obviously cover the black blast it out but then don't come back and push the black back into it because you really start to get muddy So that's it, um, calling this one Black Peacock. I hope you liked it. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see a good overview. Picture. 
sure of it above and just zoom in for you. This almost looks like fire. Fire into ice as well, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's enough talking art. Um, let's roll the close-ups of this piece. Enjoy. See you in the next one. Shaking like a willow tree The whole pose is spinning The waves will freeze across the sea And when we kiss my heart is It's when we kiss My heart is shaking Across the sea.